Today we are going to be learning the Friffle and Cascade with a variation at the end as well. The only prerequisite for the move is Pharaoh Shuffle, which looks like this if you do not already know. So if you need to learn that, you guys can click right here or if you missed this little pop-up, then you guys can check the link in the description because I've taught this before. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. This tutorial is going to be separated into three separate parts. First part is just going to be the basic waterfall, which I'll play over a clip looks like this. The second is going to be the waterfall with a friffle, so that's called Friffle and Cascade, which looks like this. And the final variation is going to be combining everything you just learned with a separate, like, little bit of a different thing that looks like this. So it just, like, catches the cards differently. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it with the waterfall. Now, to start, you're going to want to, again, if you do not know how to pharaoh, you have to check the link in the description and learn this first, because I'm not going to get into it, but you're going to start, you're going to pharaoh, and one thing that you're going to have to do special with the pharaoh, so you can see that was a perfect pharaoh, right? Every card is intertwined. That means there's going to be one card on the bottom that's over the top, and then there's one card on the top that's over the bottom. You're going to want to make sure that the, both the bottom cards are, like, outside the top cards, so that means that this top packet should be in the bottom packet, if that makes sense. So that means that this card should be the one out and this card should be the one out. So you're going to have to like slide a card down sometimes like I just did, or you can like move them like that. It's whatever you want to do. Just make sure that the bottom packet is eating the top packet because it'll make it a lot easier. Trust me. Now you don't have to, but it makes it easier. Now you're going to turn this packet like this. Turn it till it's at a about a 90 degree angle into each other, not too deep, about this far, okay? So you don't want it to be super duper like like this because then it's going to be really hard to like do it properly. It's going to be really small. So you just want to push it like that and then basically just turn it and then push it in. So it should be about half into the deck, okay? Half one each, maybe a little bit less. Then you're going to basically the way you're holding it is you just kind of turned it and this is kind of resting like this. And now you're going to take your index, put it on the top. Thumb goes on the bottom right here. And your pinky is going to grab this other side. So basically, pinky there, thumb there, index there. Those two are just kind of there, okay? Now, I know this might be a little bit uncomfortable. You're going to have to get used to it. Now, copy me. Once you get to where I am, you're going to turn it up like this. And you should still have a hold it. It shouldn't all just fall. And now you're going to take your index and you are going to lift it up. So remove it. And not totally remove it, but kind of like lift it up, like straighten it. And it's going to let the cards fall. So let's run over that again. That was just like kind of a brief little thing. So let's run over that again. So again, you're going to split it. You don't have to make the top bottom packet eat the top packet, but I would highly recommend it. So you just do like that, move the card. Now you're going to turn this sideways. Now, if this is a bit uncomfortable, I'll teach the friffle and now I'll get you into this perfectly. Now, boom, you're like this kind of. You're going to take your pinky on bottom, thumb on bottom, index in the middle, those two there. And all you're going to do is lift this up. Like that. Now, sometimes they'll fall unevenly. It's fine. You can use your newer deck, which helps. Sometimes it, they're going to drop some. Now, catching with the other hand, the way you're catching it is basically your hand is literally just open like this. And they're going to kind of fall like that. So they're going to fall against your thumb. It's like that. You don't have to do anything special. Just kind of cup your hand a little bit, okay? There's, I'll teach you a variation at the end on how to catch them that makes it look way cooler. But for now, that's just all you need to know. So turn it. Index there. You're going to lift up your index and let them all fall. And you can raise up your hand if you want. Now, do not raise it up too high. I'm about to drop card for example purposes. Because if you raise it up way too high, then you'll drop a card. I almost didn't drop any. So just play around with it. Make sure you guys get the dimensions right. Now, we're going to be learning the friffle into the waterfall, which you just learned. All right. So for the friffle, again, you're going to pharaoh it. And for this one, you actually have to make the bottom packet go over the top, overlap the top packet. Now, for the friffle, you're going to hold the deck like this. You're going to have pinky on the back bottom, thumb about the middle on the side, index curled, and then you're going to have your two fingers on the bottom. So this is how it should look. Like that. Like this, kind of. Like this. And then like that, okay? So copy me here, like this. Just curl it and grab it, okay? And this is against it. Now you're going to take your other hand and you're going to put your thumb touching this on the back of the deck, okay? So not super low, just kind of like half of your thumb on it, Okay? Now, all you're going to do is you're going to take this thumb and you're going to riffle like this. So if you've ever done the riffle shuffle, it's like that. So you're just riffling over. It's like this. Thumb is touching. All you're doing is, and this hand, the rest of the fingers, they're going to fall on your pinky. So this can just kind of open and try to stick your pinky inward. It's like this. Let them all fall and do that. 
Now, you're not going to get it consistent at first. You're not going to get every single other one at first. So you're going to have to take a little bit of time. And once you do that, you're just going to go into the normal cascade. So again, push in here. Now, sometimes you see there's a bevel. You just got to get that out. And then you got to go one by one like that. Let them fall. Tilt it up. So you have to lower your hand because you want it to fall about the 90 degree angle that we were doing it initially. Now, that can sometimes happen. And once you do that, you're going to push them together. And then all you're going to do is come over with your hand like we did the normal one and let them go. So it's basically once you finish the catch with into your other hand or once you finish like the friffle, then all you have to do is do the normal ones like that. Riffle over, let them fall. Boom. Push in over normal cascade. OK, so I don't know if the, if you didn't get this and I would go watch it again because I feel like that was pretty good one like in depth. You guys just got to boom here. There thumb touching. And boom, drop them all. And sometimes I'll like come over the end. That's fine. Now, that's it for the frifle and cascade. Now you're going to learn the variation, which I recently started doing. So here's what it looks like. All right, Street Pharaoh, like this. I kind of messed it up, so I just push that card in. You're going to frifle. Now, you're going to put the cards in normal like you're about to cascade. But instead of catching it like this, you're going to turn your hand up. And you're going to let them roll over your thumb. You're going to catch them on your pinky, kind of like you do with the friffle. So you're going to do it like this. This is the grip. So basically, three fingers out, out normally. Index uh, pinky is curled, and then your thumb is out. So look, you're going to turn it like this. So if you do it like this, they'll fall down. So you got to kind of do it like this, so they fall like this. And watch. This is what happens. Now, I just dropped some on purpose from the front view versus the normal one. So the normal one and then the front one. So it's like this. So again... And then you roll over like that. And it just gives it the extra like water. If you know what water bend is, it kind of like is a combination. Because water bend is another move that's a lot harder to get into and stuff. But it looks like this, which is kind of a similar thing. So again, Pharaoh, you're doing everything the same exact. So if you haven't learned that stuff, purple, set up for the cascade. Instead, you're going to turn your hand like this. Now, if you're dropping cards, that means your hand's probably not tilted enough. So like this, then you're going to just catch them. And you might want to bring these fingers in the catch and then you just grab them and then boom, you got it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned something, I appreciate if you liked and subscribe. And if there's something that you needed help with or I didn't explain well enough, just leave a comment down below and I'll respond to you and help you as best I can. If you guys want to get the cards I'm using, check the link in the description. If you guys would like to watch another cool video, you guys can click right here. If you guys would like to subscribe, which I just asked you to do, please click right here. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>